So as you can see, we have toilet paper roll right there for size comparison, and we have a cup holder because that was the quickest thing I could find to block out and cover the addresses. But as you can see, this box is quite large, you feel me? But we're gonna get straight to it and show you what all comes inside. All right, so when you open the box, you see all of this paper in there. Some snake paper. And voila, the HP 22 all in one PC. Some of the specs, if you want to pause on that. I'm going to read it to you in a second anyway. Is that washed out? I think so. So you have the box right there. It says perfect blend of form and function. Model number 22DF0003W. It has a 21.5 inch FHD IPS display. That should get you some nice colors. It has the Intel Celeron processor, Windows 10 home operating system, four gigs of DDR4 RAM. Then it has 256 gigabyte SSD. That's gonna get you that nice read and write speeds when you're transferring any type of thing where it's like downloading or uploading or putting on different drives, stuff like that. It's gonna get you the quick speeds that you want. It has a DVD writer that's nice, that's beautiful. You don't have to worry about buying an external DVD writer, all that type of stuff. It has a pop-up privacy camera. That's beautiful, so you don't have to worry about anybody seeing you when you don't wanna be seen. And it has HP wired keyboard and mouse included. If you don't like the wired life, you can always get you the wireless, whichever one floats your boat. But the wired will allow you to never have to deal with batteries and or recharging. It says a powerful PC right there. It says reliable processor and fast SSD storage. We've got your back. Performance backed over 230 tests. Marvelous. Three-sided micro edge display with pop-up privacy camera. Okay, I see what you're doing here. On the side of the box, you have more of the same information. And then you can kind of see where it's showing you the reader is right there. So it's on the right side of the computer. And the next thing we're gonna grab is the keyboard because it was not in that last box, which I guess that was just telling you the checklist of everything that you should have. So pull this open. This is a super big keyboard. Look how long this is. I guess it's because well, no, there is a lot of space in between. The keys are quite nice, I guess. That's probably why it seems so much bigger than normal. And the keyboard that I personally use, it doesn't even have a number pad on the side, so maybe that's why. But this is quite, like, look how long this is. Like, like I'm 5'10", and this bad boy is almost from my chest all the way down. Like, this is a, a super big keyboard. You ain't finna have a lot of room on your desk with this. As far as the clicks are concerned, you know, that's pretty cool. Nothing too crazy. Soft clicks. You're not going to, like, annoy anybody by using this keyboard. If you do, they're just nitpicking. Pay them no mind. Next thing in the box is the actual all-in-one computer. We're going to go ahead and slide that out now. All right, I like this. This has a nice build quality to it. I can already tell. It's not like... It feels like it's plasticky, but there's some parts of it that do feel like it's like metal. Like this doesn't feel like some plastic right there. Or either it's just really good plastic. Take that bag off. And then you have the legs right here in another bag. Go ahead and take that off as well. And there you have it. It's a nice computer, very sleek. I like the design. This is nice. Slight size comparison. There's my 24 inch, there's this one right here, which is the 21.5. So, it really doesn't seem like that much of a difference in size. I, I really do like this, this is nice. And then as you can see, the bezels over here are really, really thin, like, nice bezels. Nothing compared to my thick boy bezels on that, on that monitor, like, that's crazy. And then you have the speaker grill down here at the bottom. So that's another nice feature as well. But let me show you a very nice feature on this computer. You can actually slide this up right here and there is your webcam. No more worrying about if somebody can see you or not. If you don't want to be seen, slide that down. Privacy is yours. I like that, that's a very nice touch. Coming around to the right side of the computer, you have this right here. 
and this is where you put your DVDs it can write as well so you click this it'll open that tray put it in right here you have the power button down below and when we come around to the back of the computer as you can see it does come with quite a bit of ports so it has the headphone jack in the back has the ethernet port so you can get some nice fast internet instead of having to rely on wireless it has the hdmi port so you can show this on your television if you have it close by or you can get you a nice size hdmi cable and do it that way or you can just connect another monitor this way as well and then right next to where you plug in the power you have the four usb slots that's nice and seeing as how these two devices that they come with the mouse and the keyboard are both wired you're gonna have two left over so that's not bad so if you want to you can plug up an external hard drive or anything like that but the 256 gigabyte that's going to get you decently far depending on what you're doing with the computer if you're downloading tons and tons of movies then you might want to look into getting an external hard drive just to help you out there and then at the top it says do not use as a handle because it does feel like there's a little groove right here but that's just simply to let you raise this up and down but with this as you can see if i barely tap it down it slams down so you might want to you know be gentle with this and just work your way down and not you know let it slam on its own this is just a little side note i like the little attention to detail with the white tape around the little white paper tape around the cores that's nice you know instead of just making it look mismatched we do have an all white setup you know all white keyboard all white mouse and then they kept it you know it kept it matching. I like that. Good job, HP. All right, now the next step, all you have to do is you want to plug this in into this brick. So unravel these cords and then just do that and then plug it into the back of the computer. Once you have that like that, find you a plug, plug it in, and voila. Then after you plug it into the wall, all you want to do is come back, plug it into this spot right here. And then once you plug it in, you'll see the white light come on when you know you have power going into the computer. Next, you want to take the USB port for the mouse and keyboard and just plug that into the back of the computer this way right here. And it doesn't matter which one you use, you can use this one way over here, but if you start over here, then you'll end off over there. So it'll be easier to reach from the front if you want to plug in extra stuff. Take the keyboard, do the same exact thing you just did with the mouse, voila. And don't forget your power button is on the right side. So click that and turn it on. And then just to quickly throw in what the speakers sound like, and this right here is max volume. This right here is 50% volume. So there you have it. This computer has a nice sound, has a nice quality screen. Everything's working great. So if you want to check this out, you want to pick it up. I don't think you should pass it up. If you can get it, go ahead and get it. If this video helped you out, please slam the like button. It's greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.